So I'm going to go through what's happening with my avocado trees and um, this here is a little caddo. This tree, I have two of these guys and they're both doing really well. They're setting a lot of fruit. Unfortunately, when we had the heat dome, I had quite a bit on here and, and uh, about three weeks later, it's just, I had hardly any. But um, they have a very beautiful fruit that's quite long. It has a thin skin and it ripens probably, um, it'll be about 14, 15 months before it's ready to eat. And it doesn't show a lot of problems on it. This here is Holiday, and this, this actually is the big producer. This one here, I mean big relative to Canada, right? This is uh, a fruit that's pretty much ready to pick now. It has a much thicker skin and it tends to be on the tree for 18 months or so. I've got some down here, can you see down here? There's a bunch of fruit, quite a few. Here's a little baby, a few babies, but uh, a lot of these are pretty much getting ready to eat, usually around one pound per fruit when they're ready. Um, I have some mealybug on here, but not too much. You can see the leaf health is, is really quite nice for January. Then we have a tree that's suffering and this is Stuart and both my Stuart trees are just like having issues my other Stuart tree is more in the shade in the summer it's like on the east side of the greenhouse where it's quite shady in the morning and it is really big and looks really healthy but it doesn't set it doesn't have very many flowers and um, I hardly get any fruit, maybe one a year from that tree. This tree too, maybe one a year. And the top of it looks pretty good, really. It's a, it just looks, always looks a little unhappy. But underneath here, at the bottom, you can see what is turning up in the leaf sap analysis as uh, chloride toxicity. And the soil had a lot of chloride in it, and we, we still don't know where it came from because we only use rainwater for watering. But as the years are going by, and I'm monitoring my soil chemistry, the chloride is going down here where these avocados are. In the citrus, it's still pretty high, but these guys are just sucking it up and killing their leaves, essentially. So this tree, I'm going to be adding some humate humic acid and some other things to this one to see if we can get a handle on this. Part of the reason is because I'm always operating in droughty conditions so it's it's a little bit saline and a little bit difficult for these trees. This one is is uh, bacon and it is another soft skinned one and you can see the little baby here. Very sweet little little avocados. There are actually quite a few in here if you if you look around. And I have a photo of uh, how many were on here before, before the heat dome. So those are those trees. But if we walk through here, we can see the others. This is a little caddo that's down at the other side of the greenhouse. And this one here benefits from being right beside the thermal pool, which is cracked um, often. I heat it up in cold weather. And there's a fan, which you can see over there, which is circulating the air. So this one tends to get a bit of a warmer climate. And as a result, it does tend to flower earlier. And you can see the flower buds here starting to swell. This one is like prolific flower. Um, it did have, a, again, I, I did lose some with the heat dome. But uh, this one is a, a really great little tree that seems to be doing quite well.